The words and language of the character I portray in the series is an act and is not meant to poke fun at any race, gender, or otherwise. Sorry if I offend you. Cypher Deck. Hello everyone, today we're going to be playing Project 1999 of the EverQuest, and this is going to be a very fun game. So I reached out and asked people what they wanted me to play in this game, and they told me they wanted me to be a ranger, so let's talk about that. There is a wood elf who can be a ranger, and they are very cool, they have the good agilities, but I don't think they are strong enough, and they just look a little wimpy, so I don't want to go with them. Also, you have the half-elf, and they are just too cutesy. Look at that. Look at his face. He has the glow. It looks like he's pregnant, but he is a guy. It just was weird. I don't want that. So I, the only other option is the human, and I think that is the best way to go because of the fact that humans are not played as much for the ranger class, and it is just so a different way to go. So we're going to select a ranger, and we're going to select our face. Now, he looks stern. He looks roguelike, though. I don't want to be him. Oh, he is a redhead crazy guy. Look at his crazy green eyes. This is very cool, but he is not me. Oh, this guy is stern. He is German-like, but he is not the guy that I want to be either. <gasps> oh, look at this guy. He has a little small eyes of... Am I happy or am I sad? I don't have a smirk or I don't have a frown. I am going to just be stern and in point. And I have the black uh, slick back hair. And I think that's the way we're going to go. Let's do that. Oh, he looks perfect. Oh, he just did the bow thingy. That's going to be very cool. All right. We need to put our points in. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to put five points into the dexterities. And then we're going to put the rest into the strength. So we are very strong and do very high damages. There we go. Now we have two choices for our deity. We can either choose the rain keeper, who is the Karana. And she is the one who puts the rain all over the world. So whenever you are walking through the Karanas and you are wondering, why is it always raining? It's because she is the rain keeper and she is keeping the rain over the Karanas because she is Karana. Isn't that funny? Now, we can also be the mother of all, and because she is the mother of everything, she is the one who puts the grass on the ground, and the flowers, and the trees, and all that, we definitely want to go with her. Not only because of that, because later on we can get the helm of the tracker, which has the ability to allow a human to see better. And all the other stats don't really matter anyway, but it is only gettable by being a fan of Tuna. And I am a fan. She has a green dress, and she also has a crown on her head. She is very cute. So we're going to name our character, and I am going to name him Hans. H-R-U-N-S. Now, you ever heard the music where it goes, oonts, oonts, oonts? That's because it comes from Hans. See? Okay, so we're going to start the game now. Okay, so here we are. We are in Kinos. Now, we are a ranger, so this is not actually where we're going to be turning in our note uh, because of the fact that the ranger guild is not here. There is a place where I think there are rangers in this, in this town, but it is not the ranger guild. Let's look at our note. I think it's supposed to be very cryptic anyway. The seed of life stems from these woods, of these great woods. Oh, they are great. The rangers of Kinos have joined together here to save that which is vital to the existence of Norath itself. Guildmaster Hagas Shoshat of the Protectors of the, Pla of the Pine shall teach you the prowess of the beast and the wisdom of the ancient wood. Find Hagar, give him the note, and become a protector. I'm a protector! That is very cool. Let's put our weapon in our hands, and we're going to get rid of the discord, because we are not going to be a red person. So, what it is saying is that we need to find a place where pines grow tall. And the only place that I know of that has that is Shurfall Glades. Oh, there is an elfy person here ran running past us. Oh, that's, oh, and look at that. There's a little half in lean. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to go out and we need to kill things so we can get experience and also get bone chips. We're not going to go over to Shofog Ledge right now because Shofog Ledge, while it is great and everything, it is in an area that is very filled with bad things and we don't want to get near that. Now, maybe whenever we are level 2 or we've done some kind of progress, then we will do that. And maybe we'll find some quests over there as well. But for right now, we need to just kill things and get our experience. Now, the great thing about this area, and the reason that I am killing skeletons mostly, is because of the fact there is a quest here where the guy, I think his name is Lance or something like that, he is a, a person who is a healer type, and he will heal you if you turn in bone chips. And we are doing no damage to this guy, and I am scared for my life. Okay, so there we go. We did some damage. And you can see here, over on the side, I have a little bar, and it says how much I hit them for and how much he hits me for. Oh, we get some foods. That's good. Let's kill this one now. Look at him with his little green eyes. He is telling me he wants to kill me, but he is also saying I am cute at the same time. It has to be what he is saying. Though he is a decaying skeleton, so his eyes may be gone and just they are the backgrounds of the eyes. I don't know. Either way, they are looking at me strange. Come on, little cutie guy. You need to die now. Now, for those of you who don't know, there are ways that you can make money in the game. One of them is the bone chips because of the fact that you can turn in the bone chips for experience. And the other one is for the bat wings because people need bat wings to be able to fly in the air like a levitating birdie thing. Oh, we might die here. Come on, little man. Hit him with your little swordy thing. Oh, you're not doing very well now, are you? We're going to die. Mm. That's too bad. Oh, we stood up for a moment. He hasn't killed us yet. He is hitting us though. Oh, we are back up and now we are down again. This is so hilarious. I will kill you if you let me back up again. I promise you. I will let the guards. Hey, look at that. I got defense while I was on the ground. <laughs> Please keep hitting me, but do not kill me. He misses. Oh, and now he hits me again. I am dead. That's okay, though. We died really close to the guards. We know where our corpse is. Okay, so here we are. Oh, it put us in a very weird location. That is not us. Where are we at? Oh, there we are. We, we're over here. Some people we put very weird names in the the thing. Oh, that's not us either. Oh, uh, everyone looks the same here because we're all humans. What did I die? Uh, oh, here we are. Here's my body. <laughs> Now, there are things that you can do while you're playing the game to change things like if you don't want to see a body, then you can do forward slash um, hide corpse all. There you go. And if you want to make it so that whenever you loot something, if you're killing a lot of things and you want to only be able to see the things that you have not looted, then you can do a hide corpse looted. It's separate though. It's high corpse space looted, and it will allow you to see the things that you have, uh, or hide the things that you have looted. It's very nice for a uh, feature in this game. We need to hit things for us to be able to do damages. Same. You need to swing your little sword a little bit better now. By the way, every time track comes up, we should be hitting it, and I was not. There we go. Though I wish there was a way that I could turn it off immediately after I do that. You're a bad man. You killed me last time, I'm sure of it. I see it in your eyes. Oh, we do not want two skeletons to get close to each other. And there is a wood, uh, nolly thingy over there. 
Let me see how many things I have on me. Oh, I am going to die again. It's just the way it is. You got to strife now. Strife Hans, get over to the gods. You do not want to die again. That skeleton, he was a bad man. Oh, little girl has healed me. Thank you. Oh, they are very nice. Oh, we do want to make sure that we have things over here, like our filters. We need to put say and tell and group and all that thing in there. That way, whenever someone says something back to us, we can actually see it. Uh, and I just got rid of tell. That's kind of funny, actually. Let's do that. And tell. We'll add group here if we ever get one. Oh, look at that. This is Trapper Keeper. That is a very cool name. I haven't had a Trapper Keeper since I was very young. Something that you had whenever you were in school. All right, let's go ahead and hit this batty. Hi, bats. You have a cute face, but I have to kill you now. Or maybe you kill me because that's just what is happening today. I wonder if these bats get more powerful at night or if all the mobs here get more powerful because they are hurting me very good. Bat wings, if you can get them, they are very good for selling as well. So that way you can get the um you can get the uh the floaty things. You can sell those. I don't know how much you sell them for, but you can sell them to people. Though there are also merchants that do sell them. So it may not be as profitable as these bone chips. We only need one more bone chip and we should be fine then. Oh hello, you look like you have a bone chip on you. Do you have a bone to pick? Oh, you do. You do. I hit you very hard there. Oh, I hit you hard again. You are going to die. There you go. Thank you for dying for me. Uh, you gave me some armor. I will take that from you. Hello, do you have the bone chips? I need one more. Oh, we're getting better at our skills, so we are hitting more, I think. So we are. There's someone sitting over here. Oh, it's the Trapper Keeper person. Oh, they are dark off, so they are meansies. They like to kill our Trent peoples. Oh, look at that. That is the queen of the Clicknicks. However you say it. Yeah, Clicknick. So she is the queen. Never attack one of her minions while you are near her. Even the fire beetles, even though they don't say that they are Clicknicks, they are still part of her family. And they, she does not like that. Hello, Ratsies. I have to hit you. You are sad. I'm sorry. Uh, you died, but that's okay. I, I love you anyway. Let's get the decaying skeleton. Try to get him killed. Well, we hit him hard on the very first hit, so that's good. And he is only hitting us for one this time. That is good. Oh, we got the shirt. So once we get our shirt from our leader, we want to keep that one. I don't know why, but it just feels like it is better for us. Even if the armor doesn't say it, it is definitely much better. Because it was given to us with love from our leaders. Hello, decaying skeleton. I'm going to hit the tracky button now. 
I have not hit him. He has hit me though. There we go. Nice. Oh, we got a belt. Again, no bone chips. We need the bone chips, guys. We need just one more, and then we can turn it in for some experiences. Though he is going inside, and he is very mean whenever he goes inside. He doesn't want to talk to us. Oh, he made a turn. Maybe he's going to stay. He's like, I want to stay, but I need to go. But I want to stay anyway, so I'm going to make this turn so I can make this a little bit longer while I'm out here. I see no bone chips out here. Oh, there he goes. Uh, see, I told you, he, I want to go this way, but now I'm going this way. It's very funny. Well, I guess we kill a no-pop theme. They are very aggressive. He is hurting me. I want to hurt him back. Come on, hurt him. Oh, that one was a good hit. And there is the other one. Oh, he's giving us beer. I like beer. Let's just drink it. Oh, now we are more sharp and stronger. Maybe, oh. Now, see this guy? He looks like he is going to be a decaying skeleton, but he is not moving. That is because he is a real skeleton. He is what they call a placeholder of a person that is going to spawn them. If he is there, then the other person cannot spawn, but he is the placeholder for all of the dark poles. So, definitely look for him. Do not run into him, because he will kill you. Hello. Give me your bonnie chips. After this, once we get to the next level, we're going to run over to Shofar Glade so we can get our little note thing turned in. As well as be able to go and, and see if there are other quests over there. Because I really like seeing the quests in the zones that you go to. Like this one, I know a lot of them. Like I know about the no teeth that we're going to be uh, getting once we get higher level. And I also know about the bandits quests. And there is another quest where you can turn in a metal to another guy and another guy turns it, gives you the money or something like that. It's been a while, but I know that there is that quest. And then over in Shifog Lid though, I don't know any of those quests. And they just updated it too because they added a spell that allows you to port over there with the last update that they did. I think they what what it was is they added a new zone off of the Warrens, and whenever they did that, they added the spells. So maybe there are quests now that I don't know about. Now that we are here in Kino's Hills, there are things that we need to know about. One of them is that even though the bears look cutesies and everything, they will attack you sometimes, or maybe they will not because they are ambly to us. That is good. So if you are walking through here and you walk over the hills and everything like that instead of walking on the path, which is what we are going to do because we want to be safe. There is a woman who is very nice if you are very nice to her. But if you are not nice to her or her friends, which are all the animals, even if they are rabid, they are still good peoples. It's not their fault. But if you attack them, or they even attack you, and you were, you didn't provoke it, they, she will kill you. She has two swords of justice. She is a protector. So don't do anything like that. Now on this path here, you will see a little housey here. You can buy and sell from that person in that house. And over this hill over here is where you will find uh, the place of the gnolls. Oh, the gnolls, they had the cutie face, but whenever you get near them, they are all evil. And they are called the Black Barrel Gnolls. No, did I say gnolls or did I say gnolls? <laughs> I cannot tell. Either way, I said gnolls. 
Whenever you kill them, they drop teeth. There are quests also for, like, the rogues and I think other classes as well. So you definitely want to go in there and kill the things. But it is very crazy in there. If you have people who are killing things and then they die or they are running so that they don't die, then that will cause more mobs to add onto them and it will bring them all the way to the zone and kill everyone along the path. It is very funny. I don't understand why people do this, but it's just the way the game is. And I think that is cool in a way because you can always die in this game and it may be funny or it may not be. Like if you are walking along and you are just going past a bat and you think, oh, the bat isn't going to hit me and the bat hits you because of the fact that they are bad bats, then that is funny because you are the one who let them get close to you. Also, if you are walking near skeletons and then one hits you and you don't know why, it's because you didn't pay attention to what kind of skeleton it was. Because are it good and evil skeletons? Like the skeletons that we were killing, they were sad skeletons. They were decaying. They were going to die anyway soon, even though they were already dead. So I don't understand how that works, but that's okay. So you would go near them and they attack you. That way you know it's a bad skeleton. And that's not good. So here we are at the Shuffle Glades. Look at that. Look at the spires that are coming from there. That is the represent the tree, and we are walking into the tree, the gutted, gutted tree. And now we're going to go into the zone. Okay, so here we are in Shufog Lades. It is very hazy. They might as well have called this one Misty, Misty Thicket because of all the mist that's in the zone. But it might be because I am human, and humans just cannot see very well. Here we are. We have a light. We have light. Oh my goodness, that is great. And there should be a guy over here. Here he is. Hi, Haga. Let me hand you the notice. Oh, we got a shirt. And you'll see that this one is a cloth shirt. And the other one is mud stained tunic. Well, it's muddy, I guess. I, I thought it would be better, a better name, like Protector Shirt or the Ranger of the, of the East Shirt or something like that. I don't know. But either way, we're going to be fine with that. Let's uh, just take a look around before we end today because we do need to end soon. I want to make sure these videos are nice and short enough for me to be able to upload them from home. And I'm sure you didn't want to know about that, but oh, oh, look at this! Look at that! She likes. She kind of looks like the windstalker of the persons. Oh, she's running! I am not scary. You do not need to run from me. Don't show. Do not shoot me, with Mr. Haga. Hi, Crystal. She knows me. She is a nice person. Oh, and here is Franny. Hi, Franny. Oh, you have the mods for me today. Oh, oh. I want, do you have any strudel molds? I want to make some strudel. No. Mm. Oh, do you do have the muffins, though? We can put a little bit of cream cheese on top of the muffin, and you'll have a little strudel-type taste. Anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed, and next time we'll be playing again. Bye.